Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sarnet Television. Going to take a look at a siren speaker. It happens to be from Whelan. It is the SA315P and Chris is the man with a screwdriver. Let's see what happens. Take it away, Chris. Hello, Sirenet Television viewers. I'm Chris. Thanks for joining me. I have here Whelan's SA315P 100 watt speaker. I'm going to show you how the unit will disassemble from a mounting bracket for removing the driver. SA315P that I have here is currently affixed onto Whelan's SAK1 bracket. To remove the bracket, it's a matter of removing the bolts on the back here. So now that I have those loosened up, I can go ahead, remove the three that are holding the bracket to the speaker assembly itself. Go ahead, remove the bracket. To free the driver portion here from the housing, remove the fourth bolt. So with the bolts removed, I can now separate the driver and the polycarbonate housing. You can see in the base of the housing here, you have a point where your wiring harness goes through. On the driver itself, you have two connection points for your harness. And these are simply affixed with a slide on terminal connector. So for the driver itself, which is Whelan's model SD210RX, as shown on the ID tag here on the bottom, you'd remove your harnesses from their connection points on the driver here. So this spot here, this spot here. Undo the bolt that holds the wiring connection to the driver itself. Remove the driver. Take a new driver. Take your harnesses. You'd reroute them through your housing. And with this unit, we've got a quick connect on it here from one of our demo vehicles. So with that, unfortunately, I can't pull the harness all the way through the housing, but I can give some distance between them to show you. So again, driver, which you would have replaced with a new, slide your connections on. Nice and firm. Housing, again, harness hole will be in the bottom. So we'll go ahead, continue to pull the harness through the housing here so I can get the driver nice and close for bolting it back onto the housing. Make sure my harness is pulled out so I don't have any slack inside. And to align your driver, if I turn it toward you after facing me, an easy way to get your holes to line up is if you watch your wheel and sticker, basically make sure your wheel and sticker is completely parallel with the two side lines on the housing here. Then when you flip it over, you can go ahead, start your bolts. We'll put one into the top here. Tighten that down by hand. That way I can hold the driver and the housing together. I'll go ahead, take my SAK bracket again. I will realign the three mounting holes going through the plastic housing to the bracket itself. You may just need to do a little bit of wiggling here and there to get your holes to line up properly. So I'll take the base mount bolt, tighten it down somewhat by hand there, hold the bracket onto the housing. Again, with the other two bolts as well, So now with those in there, hand snugged, I'll go ahead, tighten them down. Go 
and top bolt to hold the driver firmly in place. And there you have it, Whelan's SA315P, how to disassemble the unit for changing out your driver, reassembling the driver into the housing, mounting it onto your bracket. Thanks for spending some time with me here on Sirenet Television. Again, I'm Chris with Whelan's 315P Siren Speaker. Back to you, Stuart. Well, did a pretty good job, I'd say. Thanks a million. I'm Stuart. Thanks for watching Sirenet Television.